not winning this war. We are woefully behind. And the war is with the cartels and the bad actors. It doesn't matter what political side you're on. The dope is still coming across, and they're still victimizing all these people. An Idaho sheriff seeing the humanitarian crisis unfolding at the U.S.-Mexico border firsthand. Canning County Sheriff Karen Donahue is vice president of the National Sheriff's Association. He's made multiple trips to American border communities, but this week he's in Cochise County, Arizona, at the request of Florida governor and presidential candidate Ron DeSantis, who's sent troops to the border. The visit came as the immigration battle intensifies during the start of the GOP primary campaign. DeSantis, Donahue, and sheriffs from all over the country took part in roundtable discussions, both private and public ones. Donahue warns what happens at the border impacts us here at home, even this far north in Idaho. He says we should all care about issues playing out at the southern border, including the Mexican cartel's crimes against Americans and immigrants, human trafficking, and the smuggling of drugs like fentanyl. They can average as high as nine or ten uh, high-speed pursuits a day day in this county with smugglers smuggling people not drugs but people incredibly dangerous numerous fatalities all orchestrated and funded by the mexican cartels the sinaloa cartel and the jalisco new generation cartel that is truly the threat that's simply right across this border and that's what's affecting the people in the united states and especially where where you and i live in the treasure valley they toured the border this afternoon, and Donahue says they watched crews repair the fence. DeSantis and the sheriffs want southwestern border state officials to intensify their presence at the border to make up for what they see as inaction from the federal government. Part of the meeting, Donahue says, focused on coming up with a strategy. As we reported earlier today, Idaho Governor Brad Little also recently traveled with multiple other governors to the Texas-Mexico border to fight the flow of fentanyl into our state.